Hey guys, how you going? What I wanted to do in this video was show you guys some of our outstanding projects, a lot of the things that we still need to do, some of them really small. Looking at it now, I don't know why I haven't done them already. Maybe my wife's wondering the same thing. Instead of talking about it, why don't you do it? Some of them are much bigger projects. What I wanted to do was show you from the inside to the outside. I hadn't planned this to be in any particular order, but it does end up being in some kind of order that I probably will do the work. Some of them won't be done until next year or even the year after. Some of the bigger projects, I can't see us having time, considering that it's almost been one year since we've been living in this house and we've still got so many of these other things to do. Yes, there is still shikui to do. I need to do a few small walls like this one here. The laundry ceiling is also one I haven't decided what to do with yet. I was going to plaster it, but I was thinking about breaking the white up with a wooden ceiling or wooden beams or something like that. I haven't made the bathroom shelves yet. I'm planning to make three or four open shelves on each side with towel holders under the bottom one. I'm going to use leftover hinoki from the walls. I still haven't made the bin insert. And I still haven't made the shelves for the wire baskets and for the oven trays, which I currently store up there. As I mentioned in an earlier video, I'm planning to make shelves along here to make the loft a cozy reading or music listening space. My wife also likes working up here, as it's pretty warm. I really should make that dining table. I'm planning to make a sideboard here and I'm thinking to reuse the kamidana from the other room. a bit of a mess up here. So ideally I'd like to tidy this place up. As you can see it would be a good area for the boys to play in on a rainy day. I want to put proper flooring down. The condition of this plywood isn't that great so we'd need to either put something over the top of that or replace it. Also I want to put walls along the side here. One thing I'm not so keen on doing is lining this ceiling here. At the moment it is basically wood and then the tiles, there's no insulation. If we were to insulate it would be quite a big job. I'm not sure I want to do it anyway because I like the way it looks, but if we weren't going to do it it would mean that we couldn't really use this area in summer. Winter's not too bad, it gets pretty warm up here especially when we've got the, uh, the stove going, but in summer this place is absolutely boiling. The Roof tiles act like a, a fry pan. Another area I really want to work on pretty quickly is this little nook down here. And this is going to be our office. So we need to put some floors down here, obviously finish up the walls. I'd like to put a couple of windows in here too, because it is a bit dark.
Once that shikui is done, that should be the last of the plastering. I should really just get it out of the way, I know. We got by OK last summer without air conditioners. The bedrooms are pretty cool as they're shaded by the trees on the west of the house, so it wasn't so bad. That said, we will likely get some, at least for the washitsu, which is also the guest room, as it does get a bit hot here, especially when there is no breeze coming through the house. My idea is to put it at the top of this closet so when it's not in use, we can hide it. In our bedroom, I'd really like to make a nice custom closet shelf system. We're planning to put a Japanese wallpaper over the plywood at the back. My wife says she's going to draw the shelf layout that she wants. I'd like to learn how to make shoji myself to replace these aluminium ones here. One is missing glass and they don't fit so well. So I think this room will definitely look better with real shoji. I'll show you the bedroom in an upcoming video. I just got to finish decorating a bit. And I've got to finish this storeroom at some point soon. Outside we're building a deck. We're going to build it right around the house, pretty much surrounding the whole house. I've already started work on it. Here I'm building the stairs up to the front door. This will be extended across to cover up the pipes and the boiler. In fact, this whole area at the front here, I want to clean up and widen. My idea is to put stone here where the dirt is to widen this bit. Also need to make more firewood storage. Right now, we probably don't quite have enough. A lot of the dirt that we dig out of here is supposed to be going over this way. So this is where I'm planning to make raised beds. So all along here. We also need to tear down this old carport. This is in a pretty bad state. The rotten wood everywhere. It's pretty dangerous actually. All of this scrap wood from the renovation I had kept and thought might be able to use later, but to be honest, I've got so much scrap wood now that I don't really need all of this. And a lot of this has nails and screws stuck in there. So it's not great and also out of shape. So I'm not sure how much of it I would be able to use. Probably end up burning a lot of it for firewood. And anything that is still in pretty good condition, we can obviously keep. But I'd like to rebuild that and make it into a proper garage slash workshop. An extension of my existing workshop or where my existing workshop is going to be. Where I have been doing work is out here, but obviously this roof needs to be repaired. Pretty much most of it needs to be taken down. I'm not sure if I can save that large beam there is quite rotted, but we'll see what I can do. So you can see the blue sheet that I put up last year is in a pretty poor state. It's already got holes in it. I need to repair that pretty soon, actually. In fact, this whole Kura storehouse needs to be fixed up. I'd like to replace the siding there with something a little bit more attractive. And I think I'll do that all in one project. Speaking of the workshop, this is where it is going to be. At the moment, you can see that I still quite a bit of wood in here, but it's not a place that I have enough space to do any work. So I have to bring this table saw out every time I want to use it. Part of that is also fixing up Part of that is also going to be fixing up the inside, the second floor up here. We're just storing a lot of stuff. So this is going to be a pretty big project in itself. 
Still not 100% sure what I'm going to do with the second floor. It's not so convenient to have a workshop up here, but I might have a few different things up here, maybe 3D printer, a small CNC or something up the top here. Of course, here is where we're making the little Japanese garden. Now that's going to be quite a bit of work. By the way, we still haven't got rid of those hokora that we were supposed to get rid of last year. So this is where the Japanese garden is supposed to go, outside the bedroom windows and the bathroom. In my previous video at the Izukate Hotel, I mentioned that I wanted to make a fence like they had at theirs. Now this is where I had in mind to put it, along here, surrounding the Japanese garden. Excuse the washing. Of course there'll be a deck along here, so we can still put the washing up to hang out to dry. Currently I'm planning to put the chicken coop, when we eventually make it, over here. The only problem is that I'm also thinking to make this area here a little bit of a barbecue area, maybe with a pergola or something like that. I don't know if it's a good idea to have it too close to the chicken coop, or maybe it doesn't matter. Moving along here, I wanted to cover up this concrete here with some kind of stone facade and have a little patio here where we're currently growing vegetables and things like that. So that's what we're going to be working on the next few weeks, months, years even. As always, let me know what you think, any ideas or tips in the comments section, and I'll see you guys next time.